All right, let's go to Jordan for a look at weather. A little hazy out there today, but another pretty decent day. Yeah, and you know, we had our drone Dexter out and about flying over the Puyallup River just to get some nice aerial shots. Notice above, though, it, it almost you can't see a blue sky. Doesn't look like clouds necessarily. River looks nice. It is a good day to be a river. But as we head into tonight and tomorrow, a lot of that haze that we saw will be pushing out of here. Another picture, kind of orange hue during sunset here in western Washington. Beautiful. But yet, does it bring up memories of what we went through over the summer months? Here's another look over at Crystal. You could see it in the distance, right? I wish I could say this is a snowstorm and it's nice cold air moving in. It's not, right? It's the smoke from California. The good news is notice where it's going. So this is a forecast that shows you where the smoke currently is right there and where it will be heading over the next 12 to 24 hours. All right. And like I said, it's engulfing much of the West Coast, but we should see some clearing locally. Unfortunately, California is not going to get any help with this system. We will, but they will not, and that's not good for folks down to our south. But for us locally, we are going to see some rainfall. We're already seeing some, okay, uh, north part of the Olympic Coast, all the way out towards the uh, the Strait, Port Angeles, Squim, seeing a few showers, and then up into the northwest interior. Uh, it'll stay there for most of tonight, and then we'll start to see a few spotty showers going into the overnight hours and into tomorrow. Okay, so this is a look at 930 now. Notice the line here is still similar to where it is currently. Uh, overnight, it's just very spotty. I wish I could get us more rainfall. It's going to be a little bit more hit and miss. The official wave pushes through as we go into tomorrow. This is lunchtime now when that wave is now moving into the Cascades and we just are left with a few sun breaks, maybe a leftover spot shower, but we'll be drying out going into tomorrow evening. The thing that we need to pay attention to is what happens on Thursday. We got a home game. It's busy, right? We got to get that W. We have a slim chance for showers during parts of your tailgate into the kickoff. Kickoffs, I think, 525, 530. Um, maybe it's 540. Can't remember, but it's in the 5 o'clock hour. And we have a slim, I would call this drizzle. And then after that, it goes away and we're just overcast. So I don't necessarily think you need the rain jacket, but if you want it to stay dry, you can bring it. I want to focus on this little circle right here as we head into the 330 time frame. We might see just a little bit of activity. Other than that, it'll be very quiet. If you're watching us in Whatcom County, you guys will be seeing showers as we head into your Thursday. A lot of that activity will stay to the north. Uh, but game time, folks, it's really not going to be too busy as we really see a good rain shadow sitting right over the Seattle area. So 53 is where I got us tomorrow. Showers and a few sun breaks, especially late in the day. Thursday is when we see some of those showers move through around game time. And then we'll dry out for Friday and Saturday.